Hey, Butch here with another Coach to Coast segment for YouTube. And um, this particular segment's very interesting and close to my heart because I had a chance to do something that was really a bucket list scenario for me with a good friend, Cosmo Wilson. He got me a ride on basically the, the only flying B-24 Liberator in existence called Witchcraft. We flew from uh, New Smyrna Beach down to Fort Lauderdale on one hour flight, which is pretty long because mo most of the time when people go up in these planes, it's like 20 or 30 minutes. I couldn't have imagined what the experience must have been like. I was there in sunny weather at about two, 3,000 feet, but to imagine what these gentlemen in World War II, these young kids flying 12 to 14 hour missions in sub, in sub zero temperatures, uh, sitting on all these bombs, people shooting at you, trying to shoot you down. It was just, it was just mind-boggling to think what they must have gone through. And the one thing I remember most is how complicated and how difficult it must be to keep these birds flying and how much the mechanics have on their hands and how loud they were. These piston engine, these four giant piston engine props with no insulation, the doors are open, they were loud. When I found out that the sister plane, a B-17, uh, 909er had crashed um, last year in Connecticut and basically the pilot of my plane that day, uh, Mac, um, he, uh, Mac McCauley, actually died in the crash as did the co-pilot and uh, three other people uh, on the plane and there were also some, some survivors as well. Uh, the plane had flown, he'd been flying these planes for 21 years. He loved what he did. They uh, went around the country to educate people about what it was like to be in these flying fortresses during World War II and uh, like the greatest generation you hear about it. Well, until you find one of these planes, you really can't appreciate what these guys went through. Movie stars, uh, Clark Gable, Jimmy Stewart, back, you know, during World War II patriotism, people couldn't wait to get in line to, get, you know, to go out and uh, fight to defend their country. It was just, it, was, it must have been amazing. I wasn't even born then, I was born in 53. I kind of was between wars. I was too young for the Korean War. I was drafted into the last year of the Vietnam War. Unfortunately, I didn't, well, or fortunately, I didn't go because I had a medical deferment with a bad knee, but I did go up to the induction center. And it was scary, just the fact that you might be going to war. And uh, the fact that the kids and the men and the young men in the 1940s lined up gladly to, uh, to defend ourselves, it was just, the greatest generation at its best. What an experience, amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. I can't, I, I can't even explain to you how exciting it was to go up in that plane.